her five shutouts lead the Big 12. Um, I'm excited to see her compete today. Facing Jada Coleman, the center fielder. First pitch from Rocha Ballpark is a ball. Glad you're with us from Lawrence, Kansas. Hamilton nine and five on the season. The lefty delivers. Strike called. Our home plate umpire is Tony Williams. Casey, what is the key when you are facing a powerhouse lineup like the Oklahoma Sooners here? Yeah, Casey's going to have to stay ahead in her counts, keep the ball down in the zone, maybe mix in a little off speed here and there. Swing and a miss. Good pitch from Hamilton. Two count now to the leadoff hitter. Down low, two and two. Like you said, Leaf, this Oklahoma lineup has so much star power. You just got to take it one hitter at a time, one out at a time. Two two pitch. Back up the middle. Rozak with a tough play. And Coleman will be on. Score to base hit. You know, Casey gets the ground ball like she wants there. Not a bad pitch. Uh, Rozak's there, just bounces out of her glove a little bit. Coleman, four out of five in stolen base attempts. This year at first base, Lyric Moore behind the plate for the Kansas Jayhawks with a great arm. Tiara Jennings, the shortstop for Oklahoma, steps in now. Takes this one to center field. Angela Price going back, back, and gone. And just like that, the Oklahoma Sooners have a 2-0 lead. Tiara Jennings leads the league in hits. She leads the team, is tied for home runs. And you can just see there that ball's a little too much over the plate, and she takes advantage of it on aggressive first swing. The wind is blowing out really to left field. I don't think that one needed much wind help at all. That was hit pretty hard to center field. Yeah, she squared that one up for sure. Well, Sabrito now, the third baseman for the Sooners. Down low, 1 0. Well, we told you in the open, Oklahoma number two in the country in home runs. Number 13 for Jennings on the season. Thank Shaw makes the play at first base. There's one down. I think the key for Kansas is not letting this explode, you know, eliminate this, get one out at the time. They gave up two runs, come back, find outs. There's Ella Parker, the DH. Parker with 33 runs batted in this year. In the air to left field. De Roche in foul territory makes the grab, and Kansas has two down. When we look at this Oklahoma lineup card, there are a lot of fours in the, uh, the starts of those average. One, two, three, four, five, six players in the lineup with an average over 400. The other three, uh, 397, 348, 339. So <laughs> pretty salty all the way through this lineup. And here's Torres, whom you highlighted in the open. Big yeah, 12 player big, of the week. Big 12 player of the week. Um, had a heck of a week last week when they faced Baylor. We'll see how she does the series. Strike call. Fouled back. 
Hamilton in the count now 0 and 2. Side one, two. In the center field, Price chases and makes a great catch in center field. Angela Price takes extra bases away from Torres. And the Jayhawks are out of the inning, but Oklahoma with a big two run homer and an early offense, obviously at Oklahoma State before this. Some of these hitters have had multiple at bats off of her, so they know what she's going to bring and they got to take advantage of it. Left hander starts off with a strike. How big an advantage is it to have seen a pitcher multiple times before you face her again? I mean, some of these players have seen, I would like to say, 15 to 20 at bats from her. They know her tendencies. They know what she's going to throw. Popped up. Well played there by Torres. Gets the spinner over to first base, one down. The catcher, Lyric Moore. That brings Lyric Moore to the plate. Lyric Moore, a big part of this Kansas offense. She's such a good defensive player behind the plate as well. Yeah, she leads the team with home runs in five. Um, she's hitting just a little over 300. She's such a great leader, too. Moore fouls that one back, 0 and 1. We're starting the Missouri game. Get hit on the back of that catching hand. Just it looked like a scary, scary moment because there's not much padding on the back of those catcher's mitts, but Lyric Moore played through it. Yeah, she went out for a brief inning, I want to say, or half yeah. inning, right? And uh, was right back in, never showed any signs of weakness, so. One and one to Moore on the ground. Jennings scoops it, throws the first, two away. And here's Haley Kripe. He told us about her in the open. What do you like about her game? Yeah, you know, I think she's just coming along. She had a great weekend at Houston. She's second in RBIs right behind Campbell Bagshaw, and she's got a lot of growth. She's just a sophomore, so um, she's only learning right now. Really a super sophomore class for the Kansas Jayhawks. We have a nice mix of veterans and youth on this team. Running out to Kripe. Just outside 2-0. Yeah, it looks like Maxwell's staying outside. Really a great pitch um, right there on the outside part of the plate. Swing and a miss. Two and one. Not that Maxwell needs a head start, but what does it do for a pitcher when you give her a two nothing lead to start the game? Yeah, I think with any pitcher, if you have a, a two nothing lead, you know, you're way more relaxed. Um, that helps definitely a little bit. Two two now with two down to Kripe. Swing and a miss. Strikeout for Kelly Maxwell. Yeah, we'll outside see to Riley Boone, excuse me. We'll see if she can get ahead in some counts. Uh, better pitch placement here. You said put it behind her and get the outs after that home run. She did record three straight outs. Just in front of home plate, and that's going to be a base hit. Perfectly placed by Riley Boone. He 
that's actually a great pitch. It's right on the outside part of the plate. That's a miss hit. Um, not much you can do there, just maybe a little better communication. Be a tough play for a left handed pitcher, correct? Is that is that Ashlyn Anderson your Hoping yeah, I would, that I would like to see Ashlyn get the ball there um, for a left handed pitcher to bend over, turn around and throw it to first with speed like Riley Boone on the uh, at the plate. I, I wouldn't assume she would make that play. Sydney Sanders now the first baseman. With a runner on. Up high 2 0. Oh. And high to left field. Way back. There, O'Shea watches it. Another two run homer. Sanders puts the Sooners up for nothing. Sanders, she has 10 home runs on the season. Uh, really just takes advantage of that pitch. As you can see, that pitch is elevated, belt high, um, and she capitalizes. She really extends the arms, doesn't she? And drives that deep into left field into the parking lot. 4 0 Oklahoma. Riley Ludlam steps in, the catcher. Yeah, she's taken the place, I believe, of Kenzie Hansen, um, who's been hurt. Kenzie Hansen has been a captain on their team and such a leader for them, and Ludlam stepped in nicely. Two and zero now to the catcher. Popped up. Anderson calling for it. Tough play. We can see the wind take that one and push it back over her shoulder. Now the Sooners have two on. Yeah, you see Ashlyn gets to her spot and she kind of gets caught drifting a little bit backwards. Um, and really great base running, just continues to run. There was no one else on base and that lands her at second base. Good hustle from Ludlam, who's in scoring position now. For Pickering, the right fielder. Strike from Hamilton. We hear coaches talk about it all the time about not giving another team extra outs. And certainly this is one squad that does not need extra outs. Yeah, when when you're facing a team who leads the nation in batting average, I mean, they're almost hitting 400 for an average. Hit hard right past Rozak. You cannot give them any second chances. A run will score. And the Sooners up 5 nothing. I'm going to call that a base hit. Pickering's just a freshman. She's hitting 397 on the year. She takes advantage of that one. That was a and good right adjustment. Right on cue, I was going to say <laughs> she went outside. That was a great adjustment by Casey. She's living on the corner a little bit more there. Um, I'd like to see that more as she continues throughout the game. Swing and a miss. Another good pitch, 0 and 2.
Coleman won't bite. One and two. Jada Coleman has been just a rock out there for OU for multiple years. Plays center field. On the ground. Kripe steps on second, throw to first in time. Nice double play turned in by Haley Kripe. That's great defense by Haley Kripe. You see it takes her to second base. She steps on the bag knowing that Jada Coleman's quick. She doesn't have much time. She doesn't set herself up. She makes a play. Not to mention Campbell Bagshaw there keeps her foot on the bag with not the best throw, really all around great defense. Jari Jennings, the shortstop, who homered in that first inning. Give the Sooners the early 2-0 lead. Yeah, Jennings leads the Big 12 in slugging percentage and doubles. She shares the Big 12 in home runs with 12. Pitch now to the shortstop. Three knows that one got away from Hamilton. Yeah, you see, she she is trying to mix in the off speed there. It slipped out of her hand. Um, but I like that she's going to that pitch, and hopefully it'll grow as the game continues. Jennings lets that one go at 3 0, 3 and 1. I'm going to guess that you loved hitting that 3 0, 3 and 1. Yeah, 3 1 count. Um, that was all money. I was pretty aggressive in my years, so. Jennings pops I probably it to would right. have taken a hack at that, too. <laughs> Linda makes a grab in right field. And the Sooners are retired, but they scored. How do you keep this from changing your approach at the plate, or should it change your approach at the plate as you're down 5 nothing here in the second? Yeah, I think the key leaf is just an approach. You know, against a pitcher this good, you got to go into the box with a plan, and you have to be willing to execute that plan and not sway from it. Strike two call, or excuse me, one on one. So take us inside the game now. You're you're getting ready to face Kelly Maxwell, and you're thinking today and all week, what's my plan? What 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 is a plan, and what, what would your plan be against Maxwell? Yeah, if I were facing Maxwell, I definitely want to hit her hard stuff. If it's in the zone, I'm swinging. I want to take every advantage I can with Kelly Maxwell, and capitalize on those pitches. You can see Olivia here. She's She's kind of doing the slap. You can use this for two things. Timing, maybe just to see the ball a little bit better. That's a strike two, two and two now. <laughs> Fouled away down the right field line. Bruno certainly has home run power. Yeah, over the last couple weeks, she's been hitting the ball um, a lot better. Harder. Average may not show for that, but you have seen her swing the bat a little bit better. That's that one go full count now, three and two. Bagshaw on deck. Swing and a miss. Second strikeout for Kelly Maxwell. The first baseman, number six, Campbell Bagshaw. You see the sequence there. Kelly Maxwell, the pitch before, she throws a rise ball up and out, gets her to lean. She comes back in with a drop ball right on the inside half of the plate. Bruno's not looking there. So here's Bagshaw. 
First baseman for the Jayhawks, strike one. Yeah, Bagshaw's really come into her own this season, leading the team in batting average at 317, leading the team in RBIs with 24. A local kid. You know, I saw an interview about her. She, they're playing for each other. They're on a high right now, and I think that's important to remember. Jayhawks nationally ranked again. Right in the conference winning streak. A lot of confidence on this Kansas side. 0-2 now to Bagshaw. Good pitch from Maxwell, just misses. That's a good 0-2 pitch, Leaf. I don't think you can get much closer Hard than that. Hard to lay off that one probably, isn't it? The One, two. She held off, two and two. Yeah, Kansas ranked in multiple polls, number 24 in the ESPN USA softball poll and receiving votes in the NFCA. They, they've grown so much, this program, and it, it's exciting to see. Bagshaw takes that one down low. She's worked at the three and two now. Yeah, good at bat here. I think really what you want to see is have Maxwell throw more pitches. The more pitches she throws, the more pitches you're going to see, whether that's to help yourself or help your teammates to find some sequences. Did not go. Bagshaw works a walk. Ball four. She thinks about it, holds back, and finds her way on first base. That's a great at bat by Bagshaw. There's nothing worse for a hitter than a check swing called strike three, right? I mean, if you're going to take a hack, you got to take a hack, but you just you don't want to be called out on a check swing, right? Absolutely. I'm all for if you're going to take a hack, take your hack. Don't get cheated. Inside Ashlyn Anderson now. KU third baseman. Runner on one down. Foul back one and one. You see her mix in a little bit more. She went hard inside. She went over the plate more that time. Anderson takes advantage of it and takes a good swing. On the ground. Brito to second. The first double play. Sooners turn a tough one. Good defense, good combination for Oklahoma there. Yeah, when you're top five, you're leading the nation in batting average. You're top five in ERA as a pitching staff, and your fielding percentage is 983, which is also in the top five. You're, you're going to be hard to beat. That's a pretty good combination. Ella Parker looks at strike one. But for Casey Hamilton, you know, she came out. She gets ahead in the count. Brito squares that one up, but it's an out in the book. Parker flew out to left her first time up. Hamilton gets a strike. 0 and 2. Good pitch location there. She's coming back with a curveball just on the outside part of the plate. And you know, you have Lyric back there. She's going to communicate with the umpire all game long. Fouled away. 0 and 2. Lurk Moore does a great job of framing the pitches, doesn't she? That's that's got to be a big help to a pitcher. She does. She sets up nicely. She's going to use her glove well. And just the communication from a relationship standpoint, she's going to continue communicating all game, no matter what the score is. 0-2 pitch. This is 1-2. and two. Swing and a miss. Hamilton gets her first strikeout. What a great pitch.
by Casey Hamilton. She uses the curve. It's about two balls off the plate. Great pitch placement. That's where she needs to live. Alina Torres now with two down. She saw extra bases taken away in the first inning by Angela Price. Hard hit ball to right center field. What a great play by Price. Good read and good speed to get to that ball that was destined for extra bases. Torres having a conversation with Coach Gasso. Lyric Moore does a nice job framing there. Whether they think it's a strike or not, she gets ahead on the batter. Oh, and one to Torres. What do you think the message there was from Pettigasso to her hitter? Now, Hamilton had retired the first two batters, maybe to break a little rhythm there, to, to slow it a little bit, or did you think maybe she saw something from Torres that she just wanted to communicate? Yeah, I don't know if they thought maybe that pitch was questionable. It was a little bit up in the zone. Um, but to me, the call could go either way, or maybe to see a couple more pitches since Hamilton has got the first two batters. Strike call there, one and two, Hamilton ahead again. Taking out her frustration on the gum there, I think, on that second strike. Hit into right center field. This is going to be a tough ball. And gone. Torres on a one-two pitch. Takes it over the fence in right center field. And the Sooners have homered for the third straight inning. One-two pitch from Casey Hamilton. If I'm facing Alina Torres, I'd like to see that pitch. Nowhere close. You see she goes up in the zone right across her letters, and Torres gets her hands there, drives the opposite field. I think Patty Gasso's message was as simple as, hey, you got robbed the last time. Why don't you take this one over the fence? Yeah. I you know, that home run didn't miss exactly where her last pitch was. I feel like it wasn't too far away. This is Riley Boone, who singled the second, scored on a home run from Sanders. Boone has been on a bit of a hot streak. She has reached safely in her last eight games. She's hitting 463 on the year. Their highest batting average. Right from Hamilton, 0 and 2. I wanted to. Yeah, and I think you learned from that, you know, one, two pitch. She just threw a rise to Torres. It was a little bit more in the zone. She capitalizes on it with that one. O2 oh, two pitch. She makes sure it's a no brainer. It's out of the zone. Just something to give her eyes a different look. Outside now two and two. Now take me inside the batter's box. Now you're down in the count. O2. Oh, two. Are you just in survival mode at this point and, and, and trying to get a bat on a ball or do you change your approach that much? You know, I don't think you change your approach too much. You know the tendencies Casey has, but anything close, you're obviously swinging. I would never want the umpire to make the decision for me. On the ground, Rozak over to first. And the Sooners are retired, but not before they get another run. Operating on kind of what I ended last time, I would make her throw more pitches. Uh, you have to be aggressive in the zone. And whether that's a walk, a bunt, a hit, you're going to do everything you can to find a way on base and get base runners.
there was a question on the count if I'm hearing our audio correctly. Yeah, I see on our count it says 2-0. Wasn't that the first pitch of the at-bat? Well, I, I'm trying to replay my mind. I, did I miss one there? I'm saying 3-0. Either way, De Roche, you know, she hit that grand slam in Houston, was a big time RBI. She's got to be feeling good. Hi, De Roche leads off with a walk. And that's exactly the way you start off the inning leaf, you know. Obviously, as a hitter, you always you always want to hit, but a walk would do. Base runners um, is what you want to see. Sarah Rozak, the second baseman, steps in. Runner at first. Outside, 1-0. The Lawrence native. You can see Maxwell. She, she hasn't hit the zone as frequently this inning. And then she comes right back to it. One and one. In your mind, what makes her so effective? Why is she so good? Yeah, she hits both sides of the plate. She's not afraid to throw in to hitters, to throw outside. She's got a rise ball. She can come back with the drop. She has off speed. She really has everything you want to see in a hitter. Where's that? Got a piece of that one. One and two. And I think for this level of softball, especially in the Big 12, you know, you want to see that elevation. Um, with your eyes, not just working side to side, but she can elevate the eyes up and also have hitters look down in the zone. Swing and a miss. Maxwell with her third strikeout. So now it's Angela Price who made a sensational play in center field. Price is so gritty. She's going to do everything she can to get on base. Like I said there, um, she just showed bunt. Um, if that's what she needs to do to get on base, she certainly will. Okay, we'll draw it back, 1-0. and oh. Swing and a miss, 1-1. One and one. Lays down a perfect one down the first base line. Gets the job done as runner advances to second with two down. Yeah, this is exactly what you want. You know, she puts the bunt down. There is a runner in scoring position. Top of your lineup up to capitalize. Let's see what they can do here. Ainsley Linda rounded out to second to lead off the game or the uh, bottom of the first for the Jayhawks. Yeah, Lindolf's been squaring the, the ball up. She she had a hit to center that was robbed last series. Up the middle, nice play by Jennings. Over to first, and the Jayhawks are retired. They leave one on base. Strike to Sidney Sanders, who homered in the second inning. Drive to left field. Yeah, Hamilton gets ahead there, which is what you like to see. She got ahead of most of the batters last inning, which is improvement from the start of the game, and you want to continue to see that success. Fouled back, out of play. 0-2. Oh Swing and a miss. 
O2. Hamilton with her second strikeout. O2, that's a perfect pitch. Keep her guessing. Way off the plate, right where it should be. What an adjustment by Casey Hamilton. Well, he'd love them now, who reached on air in the second, scored on the home run from Sanders. Hamilton misses outside, 1-0. We know Casey Hamilton is going to battle, right? Regardless of the score. Yeah, she's not going to give up. She's going to continue to work. It's not in her to be that way. Um, she's going to keep getting better throughout the game. She's the rock of this team. You know, she's thrown 101 innings. Like I said before, she's going to continue to throw and continue to throw and continue to throw. Um, and she's grown so much since she got here. It's it's exciting to see her really having a great year. Two zero pitch. Strike called. What's the biggest difference you see in her from the time she arrived in Lawrence to now? I would just say maturity. You know, you come in as a freshman, and then you become a leader on the team. You're one that everyone looks towards, and she's taken that role on, and she's succeeded in it. And it's it's really noted. It's noticeable. I'm gonna miss. Good pitch from Hamilton. Two and two. And I think for any student athlete, you know, you come in, you figure out what's going to work and not work. Some it might take a, a little less. Some it might take a few more months to figure out or even years. But she's a phenomenal student athlete. Love them one bite, three and two. Yeah, Hamilton comes back to the same exact spot there. And she doesn't bite on that pitch. On the ground, right backhands over to first, two down. We talked about Cripe at the plate. How about her defense? Cripe's been phenomenal at shortstop. You see Hamilton. She li she's kind of living on that outside part of the plate. Cripe sets up nicely right in front of that. And pretty easy play for the shortstop. So Pickering, who drove in a run in the second inning with a single. Looks at ball one. There's just something about that shortstop position. If, if it's solid, it, it just seems that the rest of the team goes that way defensively, doesn't it? Yeah, you know, shortstop, they're all, they're involved in every single yeah. play, whether that be a throwdown from second base, they're the middle, they're who everyone looks towards, essentially your most athletic player on, on the field. 2 and 0 now to Pickering. Three and out of the freshman. Top of the order, Jada Coleman on deck. Into right center field. That's going to drop for a base hit. Good piece of hitting by Pickering. Just kind of went with that pitch. Yeah, 3 0 pitch down in the zone. I wouldn't say she got all of that pitch. She definitely hit it off the end of her bat. Uh, most players take in that situation, but but not Oklahoma. They're they're green light all the way. So it's Jada Coleman, the leadoff hitter. To misses outside, 1 0. Sooners have scored in every inning. Three home runs doing most of the damage. Look to bump it, drew it back to an 0. 
Coleman really can do anything. She can hit. She's going to show bunt when she can. She'll find any way to get on base. She's got great speed, good athleticism. Outside now, 3-0. and oh. Lyric Moore wants to talk to her pitcher. Yeah, in this situation, if I'm Lyric, you know, let's just take a breather. Let's chat about it. Let's get back on track. She's done so well of getting ahead in the last two innings. And essentially, the first two batters of this first inning, you know, let's go back to that, find the zone a little more frequently, and see what we can do. Reno, do you challenge Coleman here? I would definitely keep it on a corner. I don't think I'd throw a fastball right down the middle. That one just misses and Coleman draws a walk. So two aboard now for TRA Jennings. Looks like Casey thought differently there on that pitch. It was on the outside part of the plate. Jennings with a two run homer in the first inning. And the wind still whipping out to left field. Two down. On the ground, Kripe tosses over to second base. And the Sooners are retired. You know, more as a kid, she's continuously working on her swing, trying to get better and trust in her preparation, never stops working. And I think that's what you want in an athlete. And that's the difference in, in Kansas and how they've grown throughout the years. On one pitch, fouled away. Jennifer McFalls was telling us a story about Lurk Moore playing well defensively two weekends ago, but not hitting as well. and. On a Monday off day, she was in there working away at her hitting, taking extra swings. Yeah, and that doesn't surprise me. You know, she was named NFCA All Region third team last year. She's hungry. She wants to be successful. She's going to continue to work. Two two to the KU catcher. Strike three called. Fourth strikeout for Kelly Maxwell. Kelly Maxwell's going to come inside here. It's a pretty close pitch. I would say too close with two strikes. Haley Kripe struck out in the first inning. Looks at one down low. We haven't seen that often from Maxwell. She tries to go off speed there down in the zone just to show maybe something different. Two and oh. If I were Kripe, I'd kind of be looking here. And she was, all gas. Not necessarily a great 2-0 pitch to swing at, but she had her mind made up and she swung. I don't want to say guessing along with the pitcher, but you're anticipating perhaps you're going to see fastball there at 2-0. Yeah, you'd like to think she's going to come back with a strike as a hitter somewhere in the zone, I would like to say, on a 2-0 pitch. Strike called, two and two. Oh. I've got a piece of that one to say a lot, two and two. A lot of these pitches could go either way, you know. Um, they're right. They're right on the corner of the plate.
stays alive. Stays up in the zone there for Maxwell. If I'm cried, you know, I shorten up a little bit, try to make contact, see what I can do. This is low, full count now, three and two. Yeah, the last two pitches, she uses a rise ball to go up in the zone. Kripe swings at both of them to stay alive. She throws the drop ball right there down in the zone below the knees. Kripe's hold off. That's a great take. Swing and a miss. Maxwell with her fifth strikeout. Off the plate, Kelly Maxwell, she's so, so strong. I mean, she has a 1.66 ERA for a reason. Olivia Bruno now for the Jayhawks. Swings and misses at the first pitch. Bruno strikeout victim in the second inning. Oh, one one. But just misses outside two and one. Yeah, I think that's a good call there. That's on the chalk. Um, that's a good take by Bruno. Definitely a good eye. It's so crazy how some of these pitches can be so close either way. Got to give props to the umpire. That one just misses as well, three and one. Three one here. If this pitch is anywhere close to the zone, it might be the best pitch she sees all game. I take advantage of it if she can. Strike called inside three and two. Tough pitch. Yeah, she spots that pitch nicely right on the inside part of the plate. When she's been going away pretty much this whole at bat, probably not something Bruno was expecting. Bruno draws the walk. Third issued by Maxwell. Great at bat by Bruno, finds a way on, makes to throw multiple pitches. Campbell Bagshaw drew a walk in the second inning. One aboard, two down for the Jayhawks. Strike call. Swing and a miss, one and two. Yeah, I think Bagshaw is a great example. You know, she didn't get much time last season. She's in the starting lineup every single game now. She's hitting 317. And she's doing everything she can to stay there. She hit a big grand slam a couple weeks ago against Wichita State, and you could just see the smile on her face. Is I think the confidence was growing. Like I can do this, and decided for. Her. Swing and a miss. Strikeout number six for Maxwell, who takes 
Yeah, they head to Texas next, next weekend for the Red River rivalry. I'm um, excited to see that matchup. I think Texas is ranked two right now. Um, and as you can see, Kansas is tied for third there, right, with Oklahoma State. They're seven and two in conference play and their best start. Rideau drives this one to right field. Linda fighting the sun and makes a nice catch. Kinsey Hansen has grabbed a bat and looks like we're going to pinch hitter here for Ella Parker. I'm sure Sooner fans are excited to see her. She's been out uh, for a little bit. Your attention, please. Pinch hitting for Oklahoma. Number nine, Kinsey Hansen. Has, a has had a huge role in the Sooners offense in past years. You can hear the cheer from the Oklahoma faithful as the captain is announced. Foul back. Great crowd here to Rocha Ballpark. A lot of Oklahoma fans, but the KU has turned out well as they have all season because this Jayhawk team has given them a lot to cheer about. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful this week, this evening, excuse me, clear skies. Almost every seat in the house is full, which is exactly what you want to see. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be like this all weekend long. Outside one and one. There you go. Standing room only. Sooners bring a lot of electricity. And the Jayhawks are a good draw this year too. One one. On the ground, Kripe knocks it down, but no play at first. Yeah, it's two Kripe's backhand. Maybe it looks like she might slip a little bit there. Uh, kept it on the infield. It's recorded in error. And Torres looks at ball one. Torres with a home run in the third inning. Strike called one and one. <laughs> Hamilton hits with a strike one and two. Yeah, she continues to paint that outside part of the plate. Um, that's obviously her game plan here. You told us there was no one hotter in the Big 12 than Torres last week. One two pitch outside. Yeah, she went on to terror. When you hit five for eight, a couple of walks, I mean, you're only three away from being perfect. So that's pretty good right the in this game. <laughs> 10 RBIs in one week, I'll take it. Four home runs. Popped up into right field. Lindoff calling it. Makes the catch, two down. Not this time though, Casey Hamilton gets her on the pitch outside. You were player of the year in the Missouri Valley. You remember how many player of the weeks you won? Absolutely not. No? No. I just played to have fun. And, you know, I feel like as a player, if you do that and you trust in your preparation, then accolades will come. And that's the most important part is being on the field with your teammates, enjoying that time and fighting for one another. This is Riley Boone. Singled in the second score to run.
correct call. I assume they do send you something for player of the year though, don't they? <laughs> they do. <laughs> okay. They do. You get a plaque. Okay. <laughs> Riley Boone can really do it all for OU. You can see Ashlyn Anderson's about four steps in from third base. Um, she stood in. See, she just dropped a bunt right there. That's Anderson that's a with great a strong play. throw. Great play. That is a great play. And like I said, you know, they are winning 6-0, but she can. She can play to end that half of the inning. Leaves things off for the Jayhawks. Here in the bottom of the fifth. One and one count to the third baseman. Rounded into a double play in the second inning. Swing and a miss. You said Ashlyn Anderson was creeping in at third. How about this throw? A great play by Ashlyn Anderson. Riley Boone's quick. She's all over it. Really just a bang bang play. See how close that play was and how important that strong throw was. One and two now. Anderson looks outside. It's a good one two pitch. Another batter's box. Just letting her know. I'm throwing it close, but I'm not giving you anything too good. Let's see what Ashley Anderson can do here. Right back up the middle, but Maxwell. Gloves it. In perfect position after she released the pitch and a little bit of a smile there. That's a great swing on a ball by Ashlyn Anderson. Really a quality at bat there. That pitch is down in the zone at the knees. That's not easy to hit. She squares it up and sometimes you just get unlucky. De Roche grounds one back to the pitcher. Maxwell takes care of that one. Two down. The second baseman, Sarah Rozak. So it's Sarah Rozak who struck out in the third. Maxwell with six strikeouts thus far. Two walks, no hits. Swing and a miss. Maxwell really shows no sign of fatigue or letting down at all, does she? No, she doesn't. And I think that comes with experience. You know, she's a graduate senior. She's been to a couple World Series. Um, she knows what to expect. And that's what you're going to see with a graduate senior who's had multiple innings under her belt. One one pitch with two down. Inside. Two and one. Fouled away, two and two. You see Rozak getting her bat out there, working on seeing the ball a little bit better. Back. And I think it's good to note, you know, every series in the Big 12 is a hard one. I think eight of 10 of these teams are in the top 50 in RPI, which is essentially their strength of schedule. Full count now to the KU second baseman. On the ground. Brito, strong throw. It's three up, three down for the Jayhawks. It was in the second inning. 
popped up. Short center field. Price calls it. One pitch, one out. That's what you want to see at the beginning of an inning for Hamilton. One pitch, one out. Sanders just misses that ball and. Start of a big weekend here in Lawrence, Kansas. We'll have all three games for you. Game two tomorrow at five o'clock and then on Saturday at noon. All on Big 12 now here on ESPN Plus. That'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm excited for it. I'm excited to see how the series goes. Obviously, two great ball teams here um, willing to compete. And a core will grab a bat and bite uh, bat for Riley Ludlam. Sophomore from California. What's the ball one? In the center field, Price handles that one. Two to Price, two down. Cassidy Pickering with two base hits on the day. The number nine hitter in this Oklahoma lineup. I have to do the quick math, but she may have gone from 397 up to 400. That would give them seven hitters in this lineup, hitting 400 or better. You're exactly right. And as a freshman, she's been so successful for them at the plate. I mean, when your nine hole hitter is hitting 397, 400, whatever you want to call it, you, you can't beat that. Our crew's already ahead of me, 413. Good math there, ladies and gentlemen. Looking at this pitch here. You know, that pitch can go either way. It's right at the knees. It's really a good pitch by Hamilton. Outside two and one. Close two, but call the ball three and one. That is very close. Um, he's been calling the corner most of the game. You'd like to see if you can get that pitch if you're Casey Hamilton. All four. She's all over the zone. For Coach Everling, the pitching coach for Kansas, that's exactly where I want Casey to live. Maybe a few slight adjustments, but she's keeping the ball down in the zone right where she should against a strong hitting team in, in OU. Maya Bland will run at first base now for the Sooners. And we're back to the top of the order for Oklahoma. Jada Coleman, the center fielder. Good look at Bland. Single for Coleman in the first inning. She walked in the fourth. Jacks were able to double her up in the second. Two down to the leadoff hitter. Tried to check. Strike one. Land has stolen eight bags. 
this year, 17 runs scored. She's got some speed. She's typically who they're going to put in as a pinch runner. So they may have had something working there. 0 and 2 now as that ball was fouled away. Side. Goes away there, gets her to lean a little bit. The lefty lefty matchup was always tricky for me. I feel like you just see the ball a little bit differently out of the hand. It's it's a little more difficult. Right back up the middle. Ninth hit for the Sooners, and they're two on with two down. Not for Coleman. That ball's on the outside part of the plate. She drives it up the middle. When you have a player who can hit to all sides of the field, that's exactly what you want. Dari Jennings, a home run in the first. Gave Oklahoma an early 2 0 lead, and now two aboard with two down. Takes a swing there. Foul the way, own one. And I think it's good to note, you know, when you see these balls in the zone for Oklahoma, they're taking advantage of every swing they possibly can. There's no guessing. There's no holding back. They're going to take their hacks at every single pitch they can. Watch that one outside, one and one. You know, Kansas has held Oklahoma the last two innings, uh, which is what you want to see. We'll see if they can get out of this one. Stairs two and one. Looked to me like she tried to go off speed there. Uh, just didn't come out of her hand at the right time, a little high in the zone. But she's trying to work it in a little bit. Fouled away, two and two. Two outs here. You'll see the infields back. They're saving runs any way they can. Outside, good job by Lyric Moore to keep that in front of her. Three and two. Runners will be going. Jennings a dangerous hitter, obviously. One of the best. That's a good swing at this one. Deep to right center field. At the wall, Linduff makes the catch. That's what that's what you want to see in Ainsley Linda. She gets there. She finds the wall. Avery Hodge, a second baseman. Angela Price steps in. It's an aggressive cut. You know, we saw McFalls right before that. She was smiling with Price, keeping things light. It's a good cut by Price. You know, Maxwell's so good in the circle. I think definitely here your approach changes a little bit. I would shorten up any way I can put the ball in play to give my team a chance, I would. Jayhawks looking for their first hit of the day. Price down one, two in the count. Back. Price has been a constant for them. I think she started in every single game this season. 
um, at center field. She brings a spark that Kansas needs and she's gonna do her best to get on here. Maxwell came into this week with the fourth fourth best average against hitters 173. That's all they're managing against Kelly Maxwell this year. Angela Price hanging tough. One two pitch. Down low two and two. I'm sure Maxwell just continues to learn in the circle. You know, she's now with arguably one of the best pitching coaches in the nation and Jennifer Rocha previously at Florida now at Oklahoma. I wouldn't want to learn from anyone else. Um, in play. Hodge makes a nice play. Her left is one down. Look at the upcoming schedule for the Kansas Jayhawks. We talked about how tough it was for Oklahoma coming up. The Jayhawks have three with the Sooners here and the midweek travel up to Nebraska. Then on the road there at Iowa State at Texas and then the other road trip to Missouri State. So Jayhawks will be hitting the bus for a while. Yeah, well, I won't see you for a few more weekends, Leaf. I know that. They're on the road for for a few weekends right there in a row. And we'll come back with the Texas series. That ought to be a lot of fun. Yes. Linda was grounded out twice. Everybody Down low to an O. Jax also maybe just looking for something to build on for the rest of the weekend here, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, Ainsley Lindoff, she kind of took the leadoff spot for Presley, and she's done a nice job as she's gotten more at bats, and that's exactly one of what you want to see right there with a 2-0 pitch is be aggressive, looking for something in the zone. You see a lot of the hitters now going to this, showing your barrel, trying to potentially see the ball a little bit better, get their timing down. You like that? Um, I'm not for it either way. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, what works for different batters is, is all in what they prefer. I do think it helps with timing a little bit. Um, if you keep your barrel out there and bring your bat back just as she's starting her wind up. Give you a chance to kind of load and then explode on the ball. Absolutely. Three, two pitch here. Into left field. Boone makes the catch. Two away. The last two batters have barreled the ball up a little bit better. They've letting the ball get deeper in the zone, drive it opposite field with Price to second base and Lindoff to left field. You like to see the adjustments made. We're just still waiting for a hit. Lyric Moore called out on strikes in the fourth, rounded out in the first. Jayhawks have not taken many outside the infield, and that, in fact, that may have been the first if I'm reading that right. I think you might be right. Besides the line drive right back at Maxwell yes. from Ashlyn Anderson. Um, you can see they're being a little more aggressive here, though, on pitches in the zone. Uh, that pitch was right in the zone. You see Lyric taking a hack there. Swing and a miss, 0-2.
Swing and a miss. Strikeout recorded. Seven strikeouts for Kelly Maxwell. And the Jayhawks remain hitless as we go to the top. Sabrito steps in, 0 for 3. Lined out to left in the third inning. Yeah, the Jayhawks have held them uh, scoreless in the last three innings, which is what you want to see. Casey's getting stronger as the game goes on. She's working ahead of batters. Frito at the plate. Hit hard to center field. Price drifts back, makes the catch. One down. The designated player, Kinsey Hansen. Kinsey Hansen inserted in the lineup in the fifth inning, reached on an error. Side one low. Another hitter who's hitting just over 350. Typically a starter for them. Like I said, had an injury. She's got 60 at bats on the year, but in those 60 at bats, seven home runs, 16 RBIs. I think that hit in the fifth inning or the error has been changed to a hit. For Kinsey Hansen. Yeah, I think you're right. And it was a tough play. It was a tough play. It went to her backhand, if I remember correctly. Um, kind of outside of her normal fielding position there, which. Popped up. Cripe calling for it. Price comes on. Everyone's okay, but that ball drops. When I was starting to watch this play, it looked to me like Price had been calling it all the way. Kripe was calling it all the way. In that situation, if the center fielder is calling you off, you've got to step away there. It's the outfielder's right to call you off that ball. Um, and you've got to veer off any way that you can. And I think with just a little less communication, they kind of got mixed up there. Now batting. The first Outfielder, obviously, you would think the easier play coming in than the infielder going back out. So Ella Parker is going to run at second base for Hanson. Yeah, it's always easier to come in on a ball than drop step. Um, not to say Kripe wasn't there. I think she definitely was in great position. That one hits a right field. Linda makes the catch. Parker tags and goes to third. Two down. Lindsay Lilio has grabbed a bat. Looks like she's going to hit for Riley Boone. Yeah, up 6 0. This gives some kids some chances to get some at bats in. Kansas coach Jim McFall is having a conversation with Tony Williams, the home plate umpire. Your attention, please. Pitch hitting for Oklahoma, number 43, Quincy Lilio. So Lilio is announced. She will hit with two down here. Coach McFall does not look happy. I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, Leaf, did you see what was yeah, She had on? an animated conversation there with Tony Williams for a few seconds. Yes, but I didn't see the issue. So outside one and oh, if I'm Hamilton, I'm coming right at this batter. You know, they're letting someone pitch hit, get ahead of them, work your count and get an out and let's go hit.
Looks like that pitch just miss it, misses on the outside part of the plate. As a pitcher, you want that pitch. That's a hard pitch to hit as a hitter, though. That looked chalk to me, um, but it could go either way. 2 0 with two down. That one down low. 3 0. Oh, so strike three and one. There she goes. She's finding the zone here again. Refocusing a little bit. Good change of speeds. Three and two. Ashlyn Anderson from her knees across. Nice dig by Bagshaw. Good play all the way around. Want to see. Swing and a miss from Haley Kripe, who has struck out twice. She said Jayhawks looking for their first hit here in the bottom of the seventh. Yeah, an aggressive swing from Kripe. The first pitch of the at bat. Ellie Maxwell has just been sensational. Seven strikeouts. Three walks by my count. Yeah, she's nine to no on the year. You know exactly what you're going to get. Um, you're going to have to work for it. She's got a 1.66 ERA, like said before. She doesn't give up many runs, so you have to take advantage of her misses and. Swing and a miss, the eighth strikeout for Maxwell. And the Jayhawks are down their last two outs. Right bit on the first two pitches that she fouled off. So she continues to just go up in the zone. If she's going to swing at that, we're going to continue throwing her at that height. Bruno fouled on the right field line. Bruno struck out in the second, drew a walk in the fourth. As I mentioned, the Jayhawks with really one ball out of the infield all game long. Yeah, Bruno saw a few more pitches in her second at bat with that walk. Hopping on the first two here. Down on count now, 0 and 2. She's going to try to see the ball just a little bit better here as well. Down low, one and two. Like I said before, when you have a pitcher who can throw a rise up in the zone and then she comes back with that fast drop ball, it keeps you guessing for sure. She's thrown to both sides of the plate, done a great job today. Bruno didn't want to go, she did. Ninth strikeout for Maxwell. And the Jayhawks are down to their last out. They say she went there. Could have gone either way to me. That one just misses outside. 1 and 0 now to Campbell Bagshaw. Walked in the second, struck out in the fourth. Let's see if Bagshaw can get something going here with two outs. On the ground, but foul at third. One 
one and one out of the Kansas sophomore. In the center field and deep, Coleman chases. It's gone. A two out home run from Bagshaw to break up the no hitter and put the Jayhawks on the board. Yeah, Bagshaw takes advantage of a pitch. That's going to be a middle part of the plate. She says, I'm not letting you no hit us today. She gets Kansas on the board. And she squares this one up. That ball is belt high. Middle out, and she takes it right back up to center field. That's exactly what you want to see. You have to capitalize on the mistakes if you're going to beat the Sooners. Maxwell was looking for her sixth college no hitter. Got to within one out. Had one on March 12th, so just a couple of weeks ago. Here's Ashlyn Anderson. That was Bagshaw's third home run of the season. Strike called. One and one. Away one and two. Everybody, clap your hands. Clap, 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 clap your hands. Clap, 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 clap your hands. Looks like the umpire is searching for softballs. I think maybe some of those souvenirs aren't coming back because it's Oklahoma, Kansas. I'm thinking so. I haven't seen. Nearly as many return to the tunnel over there in the Kansas dugout as I have in years past, seasons past. So they might be in some pockets. One two pitch up high, two and two. She continues up in the zone there. I'm curious to see if she goes down here to give Anderson a different look. And that's exactly what she does. Full count, so where do you throw now? 3 2 with two down. 3 2, two down. You know, Maxwell's so questionable. That's why she's great. Um, Are you trying to guess as the hitter? <laughs> like I said earlier, anywhere close, it's the seventh inning, two outs. That was a hittable pitch. It's Anderson a good swing fights back. it off. <laughs> You know, and Bagshaw with the home run, it's just going to build confidence. You'd like to think if she can square it up, then I can too. And you've seen this is a great at bat. Anderson fights that one off as well. Still three and two. Jayhawks have a base runner. Great at bat by Ashlyn Anderson there. She fouls off multiple pitches on the outer part of the plate. Sees ball four. Another base runner on for the Jayhawks. Emmy Carsley. It's going to come to the plate for the Jayhawks. On the ground to third. Brito over to first, and that'll do it. Sensational day from Kelly Maxwell, who gives up just one hit, a home run. 
Oklahoma with three home runs to win it 6-1. What's your takeaway from what you saw from the Sooners and the Kansas comeback there in the seventh? Yeah, Oklahoma's.